Whenever I'm invited to someone's house to hang out, I always bring some kind of food. This feels like the polite thing to do in exchange for hospitality. The problem is, no one ever seems to eat what I bring. My chips and queso go ignored, and I'm left picking at it by myself. Oh, man, I didn't read that part. (laughs) That's so sad. Okay. So my question is, how can I enjoy these snacks without looking like I just brought them for myself? Or what can I do to get my friends to enjoy these snackums with me? That's from Eating Alone in Austin. This seems like a win-win to me. Either your friends enjoy your tasty meal or you get to eat like a pound of queso. Yeah. And and are you... you, Okay. If we're all being honest with ourselves... Then let's, and let's. When you present the queso, are you really selling it? Are you like, anybody want this? Oh, okay, this is for me. That's it. Anybody want this? No. Who wants this stinky, shitty queso? (laughs) Nobody? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we didn't... I didn't... Like I said, I didn't see the part where you said you picked at it. If you're holding it in your arms... (laughs) The entire Come get time. some queso. Does anybody want some of this? Who wants to fucking wrestle me for queso? <laughs> Come in for a chip hug. Yeah. There are some parties that you bring food to. There are some parties that you don't. You can't just decide as a guest that it's a party everybody's bringing food to. Sure. The host won't know. If I was a ho- Okay. There's a lot of foods that you can eat without knowing the contents of. Queso is at the very bottom of the list. Yes. You start with queso, then you work up from there. If I'm the host of this party, I'm going to see that and walk over to my friends like, hey, I didn't, that's not my queso. <laughs> I don't know, um, I don't know where that queso is. <laughs> sure. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't eat that queso. I don't know where it, they don't, in fact, I wouldn't even say I'm 100% sure it's queso. Yeah. It may not be queso. They don't make transparent cheese. What if it's, what if they brought queso and no chips? <laughs> it's just surely you have chips somewhere there's a whole bowl right there in front of you look at it the gelatinous sauce <laughs> enjoy this cheese flavor maybe it's just pre-queso like it has to be microwaved gross yeah. um, why is that gross it is gross though no you don't like cheese it's raw queso is what you're saying um did, 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 where'd you put it? Because <laughs> there's tables where food can go that it is communal. And if, but if you open the, if you put it under the sink and close it, no one's going to eat that queso. This, okay, this is an excellent point. Because if you walk in and you put it by like the front, the table by the front door where you keep like your keys and mail. If I walked in and saw queso there, I'd be like, well, that's for trick-or-treaters. Yeah. <laughs> They're, they are going to a queso party after this party. <laughs> right. That's not for this. No, no, that's for later. If I saw it on someone's bedside table, I'd be like, oh, that's their nighttime queso. Yes. Similar point, what are you serving it out of? Because if you're using it on like a, you know, something from the Martha Stewart collection, like a nice oak tray with polished metal handles, mm-hmm. now we're hopefully a bowl also, and not just sort of <laughs> loose queso slip sliding around there. Now we're talking. If you serve it out of a big toilet that you just got from the Lowe's, and you wheel in on a wheelbarrow or something. Do you remember for a period in the 80s when everybody brought everything in shed spread country crock containers? <laughs> Is that just our family? I guess. 